meekness presented to my eyes, my nose, my hands, and my palate. I accept my duty to be a sixth annual international coat festival judge. Pretty tasty. Um, it had uh, just the right amount of spice. The meat was real tender. Uh, it was one of my favorites. Um, uh, my second entry was uh, really tasty, really original. The the presentation was original. Uh, it was uh, it was delicious. Uh, First, second, third. Number my third entry was pretty pretty bland. It didn't have much of a flavor to it. Uh, seemed like it could have been uh, cooked a little bit a little bit longer. Uh, seemed a little tough. Okay, my third entry uh, was uh, the most original in the bunch, uh, and it was very tasty. A lot of different flavors in there. Uh, it was just a, a a delicious dish. And number three, um, I don't think they cooked it quite long enough. It wasn't tender enough. Uh, but I thought it, I thought bacon made everything better. But my third, my last entry was not, not that good. It was all good. Thank you very much. Uh, introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Bill Holt uh, from uh, Eudora, Mississippi. Um, this is my first time to uh, judge this. Uh, what is it? But how you pronounce it? What did you eat? Capria. Goat. Goat. I ate goat. I ate goat. First time I've eaten goat. I uh, like uh, for the first one, had a good uh, uh, marinade base. Uh, the meat was very uh, uh, good. It wasn't uh, uh, chewy or anything like that. I enjoyed it very much. The second one had a uniqueness about it, a little uh, character uh, on a little... Uh, um, dough. I enjoyed it. The third one, um, it was good but a little bit dry uh, to me. Had a, I believe it was probably marinated in uh, wine, cooked in wine, uh, which I'm not a wine drinker, so I'm sorry. I just didn't enjoy it as much. Now the third one, or excuse me, the fourth one was uh, the one in the, uh, the pepper shell. Uh, it had uh, rice and mushrooms, cheese, uh, uh, so it had a kind of unique flavor being a mix and them all together. I enjoyed that very much. I appreciate that idea. It was enjoyable. Uh, the last one uh, was the bacon wrapped. Um, it was moist and uh, tender. Uh, the bacon didn't provide as much flavor as we thought it would be, but uh, still enjoyed it. And thank you very much. Okay. Please. Introduce yourself and then tell us what you ate. Uh, I'm Jim Bremhard of Germantown, Tennessee. Uh, first time judging goat. Uh, my favorites were two and four, but uh, I'll start out with number one. It was actually pretty good. Um, very tender and juicy. 
Uh, number two was uh, on a flour tortilla with uh, avocado. It was my favorite of the five. Uh, number three, mine was a little dry. I didn't really care for the, the wing from whatever it was marinated in. Uh, number four was the uh, bell pepper version here. It was very good. It was my second favorite. Um, good twist, new idea. I really enjoyed it. And number five, my piece was a little burnt. Uh, the bacon was burnt, and I just didn't really care for it uh, very much. Thanks. All right. uh, this is Kids Q's Burgers. Um, I like number one. It had really good flavor. It was very moist. And number two was very flavorful. And I really like the crispy bacon on it. Number three had good flavor. And number four was good. Number five was great, and so was number six. But I think my two favorites were number one and number two out of all of them. Okay. I got a mouthful. <laughs> hey, my name's Robert Maddox from Cartersville, Georgia. I just judged the Kids Q hamburgers. Uh, we had six entries. Number one and number two was definitely my favorites. Um, but I wish every one of them could win because every one of them were great. They were, the burgers were put together well. Uh, they were top well. Um, they were all pretty much classic cheeseburgers. Um, but I think they all, should, they all should be proud of themselves. My name is Marge Plummer. I just judged the Kids Q's hamburgers. And my number two is, was the best in my opinion. It had cheese and bacon. Very, very good appearance on it. I like number one. They were all good. I commend all of the children that cooked in this. They're learning they're gonna grow up and be big barbecue persons. Thanks for the opportunity to judge the kids' queue. The first and second one were probably the best burgers. Um, they were all cooked really well and stayed together really well for kids burgers all of them were pretty enjoyable which was your favorite mm, probably the first one okay. Thank mm -hmm. you.